Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pro Wrestling Inside Now. This is our look at Continental Championship Wrestling, and this was September 14th, 1985. It opened up with Gordon Soley. And then the Nightmares went against Les Freeman and Royley Welch. Jack, why didn't Les Freeman get a bigger push in wrestling? Uh, you know, honestly, I don't know. Uh, I very rarely heard the name. I, this is the first time I ever saw him wrestle. And he was pretty darn good. Had a great look. And he it, and he had a great match with the Nightmares. Didn't yeah. you think so, Rodney? That's right. It was kind of a handicap match because Roy Lee was very rarely in the match that I know. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, the only one that noticed that. Hey, I thought no, I noticed. Pretty- I thought it was pretty good when Ron Fuller, Jimmy Golden, and Robert Fuller came out and uh, during that thing and and uh, told them that uh, that Bob Armstrong interview couldn't be played because he left. Uh, that was good. That loser was leave. Day. Yes, right. Loser leave. He cannot show that. My life. Junction. Yeah. <laughs> Love, it. Love it. And then later on, Johnny Rich came out, and I thought it was good. The Nightmares was looking at him, and he, they were getting rolled up, and that was some good stuff. And then they showed Kerry Von Eric. Uh, in Japan, losing the world heavyweight title to Ric Flair. I love that uh, finish in that match. Yeah. I mean, you know, I thought it was great. Uh, You know, it's kind of interesting that they showed that. uh, They showed that, I guess, because Ric Flair, uh, this was the interesting part of this show. Did you notice that uh, that what they were doing, the I believe, was the Great American Bash? Was it the Great American Bash on tour? Yes, Yes, it was. And uh, the Nightmares was on that card. Uh, Tommy Rich, I believe, was on that card. It was the uh, Rock and Roll Express against the Nightmares for the World Tag Team Titles. Yeah, and Adrian, was Adrian Street was on the card. Yeah, that was the Great American Bash. Those, this, yep. would, this would have been around September. Did they do the Great American Bash in August? I, I think it spilled over. This is just the whole tour they were. Doing. Yeah, that, uh, they did a tour of of those shows. So at that time, then Jimmy Crockett really was working with Ron Fuller in that. Respect. I know years later yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't last long, I noticed. But uh, I love the thing though. Flair goes for the suplex in that match. Yeah. Kerry drops behind him, goes for the roll up, and then he rolls up. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know that Kerry Von Eric could have kicked out of that. <laughs> I noticed Kerry was uh, winded. <laughs> he was a little winded by the end of that match, but it was, I mean, it was a grueling match. Uh, and so that was it was perfect. But yeah, I think he he had run out of gas. <laughs> he ran out of gas. Well, let's be honest. Anybody that wrestled Flair better be at the top of their cardio game anyway. Yeah, he's going to go a while. Uh, this next match, uh, Roberto Soto against this Fox character. What was his? What was his first David, name? David Fox. David Fox. He was very very foxy. I guess. Did you? Did y'all notice he had I, like I was a, gonna say a nap, but <laughs> did y'all notice he had a fox tail or something on him? Yes. I missed that. Well, you didn't miss I that. loved it, but I loved I loved how Roberto finished him off. Double that double flying head scissors, and he rolled him up. I mean, yeah. it was it was super. Just yeah, that, super that was pretty. And, and it showed uh, Roberto was in complete control of his body. I mean, he knew exactly what he was doing. It was it was awesome. Well, I mean, he, by this time, how many years have Roberto wrestled? I mean, he'd wrestled for many, many years. Well, we know. Well, since we did the uh, the uh, Ann Gunkel, I mean, he that was in seventy, right? Nineteen seventy two. Nineteen seventy two. We're we're in eighty. We're eighty five right now. So what is that? Thirteen years so far. Well, he was good, wasn't he? he really yeah. was good. Really was good. Is Roberto Soto still living in Florida? No, he's in back in Puerto Rico now, which I stayed in touch with him until he moved back. Because uh, we he used to message me and we'd talk about your dad quite often. Roberto Soto, very good. The Flame came to the desk. I always love listening to The Flame, Jody Hamilton. He was so good in this interview. Uh, and then Gordon Soley does the uh, rundown for the uh, – the great American bash and calls yes. buddy, buddy. He don't call him buddy Landell. Landell. Well, I would, I would assume that he got his uh, paperwork from David Crockett. Yeah. Um, but the, the two matches that we have have down here is the continental championship on the line. It's Tommy Rich. who's the continental champion this time against Adrian street and the world tag team titles, rock and roll express against the nightmares. I think that's the only two matches of the whole thing. That yeah. they're on. 
Rest of it's all Crockett's guys. Ain't the main event Dusty and Flair? I believe so. I wondered if it drawed. I, that that I don't. I'm not sure we were we wasn't there, but this is not the, this is not the first one. But I believe it might be the last one. They, they were they yeah. were doing stadium shows with those, right? You know, during this time period. So if it didn't draw, there, draw, that's one of the few places it didn't draw. Yeah, because they were drawing really good in 1985. And then Tommy Rich, Asia Street, did an interview. Tommy Rich did some great. He he was doing a good interview at this point in time. He was man. really fired up on every interview. Fired up. Fired up. <laughs> yes, he was fired up. <clears throat> and then Tommy Rich and the Flame. I love this match. Jack, did you like this uh, match between Tommy Rich and the Flame? Yeah, it was it was good. Told a good story. Rodney, did you like the match? Awesome match. The uh, and and the the crowd was right there with it. Jody, bigger wrestler, but man, he can move and. He loaded up that mask the first time he hit him, and everybody thought, okay, that was going to be it. No, that wasn't it. Loaded it up for the second time. This time, the referee's trying to check him. He goes in for the rolling reverse and beats a flame one, two, three. It was great. Yeah. Did flame you notice that when Tommy was – because didn't he get a world heavyweight title match if he won that match? He, if he's the uh, continental champion, he will be facing. Of course, uh, Gordon had been pushing all throughout the show that uh, Tommy Rich was the number one contender and that he was the former world champion, and it could be the, uh, his second time of having him. To, and I guess it's Tommy Rich as Ric Flair is going to be heading back to uh, the area. Well, did y'all notice when he was he was celebrating, he knocked Mike Jackson down? <laughs> I missed that. I'm sorry, I missed that part. He did. Go back and watch that video. He knocks him down. He, he jumps on him and knocks old Mike Jackson down. And that's what he gets to getting in his way when he was, you know, celebrating the show. This is his win, not Mike Jackson's. Uh, they had a couple of interviews. I can't remember who it was. And uh, uh, Roberto Soto, Tommy Rich, Norvell Lawson, Brickhouse, Brown, Roy Lee Welch. That's about the Alabama uh, tournament coming up in Mobile. And then they had an interview with, uh, came back with another interview with Brad, Steve, and Dick Slater. And they showed the um, footage where Scott gets hurt. I believe that was from Mobile. Pile driver uh, on the floor on Scott, and then uh, Robert got him in the figure uh, footer leg lock, and uh, yeah, it was good stuff. Really good. Yeah. Stuff. Dick Slater was really good. What he really was, and and uh, if he would have been able to stay, um, I, 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 he would have drawn a lot of drew a lot of money for him in Alabama. He was very different than what they've had there before. The week prior, uh, he he does an interview, and he's with. I believe it was Norville Austin, Brickhouse Brown. I think Tommy Rich was with them. And I thought it was spectacular when he said, well, you might have to wrestle me. You ever think about that? That's that, right. was, that was so was good. Already, was so good. He, he was already painting the picture already that he might not be a, <laughs> someone to get along with. Uh, but I, I, th I thought Slater would have, because he'd nearly, never really been seen down there, uh, would have been great, absolutely great. Uh, to stay uh, longer, but of course he was on his way to the mid south. But you know something, I believe he could have been a better booker for for that territory than he did when he went to mid south yeah. wrestling. Yeah. yeah, I think they would have drew a ton of money uh, with Dick Slater there as the as the top guy against the uh, Bullet and and whoever else they brought in Tommy Rich. Can you imagine the matches Dick Slater and Tommy Rich would have had there? Yeah, it, it would have been better off for him not to be a part of the stable. He would have been off by himself. It had been, I love the stretcher yeah. match. I love how they did uh, the uh, – and poor old Steve, when they gave him the mic, he was kind of like – and then old Brad just picked up really quick on it. <laughs> uh, but I, I thought it was a great match. That match was spec – I think that was in Mobile, wasn't it? It was taped in Mobile, Alabama. Thanks, they sir. said Pensacola, but I don't I don't believe that was Pensacola. No, I believe that was Mobile. Uh, Mobile had – that, that was at Expo Hall, uh, the, the – uh, um, I the uh, Pensacola was the municipal auditorium, so it didn't look like an auditorium to me. I believe no, and I'm gonna tell you, ball. Scott did a tremendous job at selling that. Yeah, I think at one point Jimmy Golden was hollering, "Scott, you got to help me! You got to help me! I'm trying to <laughs> throw you back." <laughs> but he did such. A, I mean, he was dead to the world. Yeah. And, 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 Scott was so good anyway. Uh, and then we have the match with the Fullers and uh, Jimmy Golden against the Armstrongs and Dick Slater. 
I love this. Jack, what did you think about this? Oh, man. It, it was great. I mean, a great match. I just, uh, it's such a good story told in there. Everybody at the top of their game. And Brad Armstrong. You cannot have a bad match with Brad Armstrong involved anyway. Nope. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, Brad comes out, does an interview about Dick Slater later on. And and I love when Fuller and Golden will stand there and he said, you owe me $5,000 more. We'll get you the money. Don't worry about it. We'll find it somehow. It's just, good. Just, just a great show. Uh, th this this show was put together great. What If if you gave it between a 1 and 10, Jack, what would you give this show? Uh, 9.5. Yeah, I, was, I, you know, I think it was great. a spectacular show, Rodney. Yeah, it was a fantastic show. And then, of course, next week, Ric Flair's back. And, of course, they've been uh, pushing him all throughout the show and facing Tommy Rich. So, Very Jack, good. any uh, closing comments about this Continental Championship Wrestling, September 14th, 1985? Great show, y'all. If y'all guys aren't watching and keeping up with what we're reviewing, you're missing some great professional wrestling. Yes, Rodney? Awesome. Awesome show. Get to it. Get to it. And, of course, like we're saying, we're reviewing – uh, Mid-South, we've got the Continental Show, and then we're doing World Championship Wrestling. And right now, I believe Continental has the better show. I agree with you on that. If you've enjoyed this video, give us the big thumbs up. I can't get too close to the camera. Every time I get too close, it gets it does something. So give us the big thumbs up. Subscribe to the page. And, and i tell you what somebody just told me the other day. You said you never tell them to share it. So share the video. Share, share. the video. Uh, yeah. Don't be selfish. Share. Yeah, share that video. <laughs> and then uh, and then go over there and hit that notification bell. Uh, thank you so much. And we'll see you on the next video right here on Pro Wrestling Inside Now.